I'm at the range getting ready for the Steel Nationals. Hi, I'm Doug Koenig, and I want to kind of go through a few tips on what I'm looking at when I'm approaching a Steel Challenge course of fire. One good thing about Steel Challenge, most of the stages, there's different ways to shoot them, and you have to kind of find the way that suits you and the style that you like to shoot and allows you to be aggressive with your eyes, your draw, and your shooting style. Steel Challenge courses of fire are five targets, with one being a stop plate. Sometime it might be the last target. They're always designated typically in the match with a black or a red post, something a little different so you know which one is the stop plate. Some shooters, one of the styles might be on the draw. They may want to start with the easiest, closest target. Okay, now that may be determined by the distance, the size of the target, or the proximity to other targets. Other shooters, their style may lend towards starting on a more difficult, a little bit slower first shot, and then maybe working the speed up throughout the stage. The stage behind me here is roundabout, and really there's a, there's a few different ways to shoot it, but there's three popular ways to shoot this stage. The first one is a lot of shooters will start on the far back left target. They'll shoot back left, they'll come close left, they'll jump across close right, back right, and then into the stop plate. That's one way. Okay, the other way, they'll go back left, close left, far right, close right, stop plate. Okay, then the kind of odd way, I should say, the way uh, Max Michelle likes to shoot it, he likes to start at the, he likes to start right up here close right, he goes close right, then he goes far, far, close, stop plate. Okay, that style, I've tried it in practice, it's a very difficult way for me to go. I like to shoot it, I kind of go back and forth. I'll either start left, close, far, close, stop, or I'll what I call around the horn. Far, close, close, far, stop. To me, it depends on the year. I've shot it both ways in the match. It just kind of goes by how I feel that particular day. Let's do some shooting. Okay, that's around the horn. Okay, let's try that one more time. Okay, now this time I'm gonna go far, close, far, close, stop plate. Just to show you what it looks like. That was a 261. Two ninety two, okay, that was with an extra shot. I went back, close, back, close. I had missed the back target, went back to make it up. That's another way that some shooters will look at the course of fire is if they do have a miss, where can they make up the target? without hitting the stop plate first. It's called the trap. Where's the trap on the stage? A lot of shooters, if you go around the horn, the fear is if they miss the back target, they'll hit the stop plate before they realize or recognize that they missed it. Okay, let's try that one more time. Okay, 263. So the times are relatively the same. When you do do some testing, you got to shoot multiple runs because what happens is you can see once you shoot it a certain way a few times, that kind of gets ingrained in your brain and you're not going to be able to just go right to one or two runs doing it another way to really give you a definitive test. What I typically do, I'll go out, I'll shoot five to ten runs one way, take a little break, come back, shoot five to ten runs the other way, kind of see what the times were and see what I'm most comfortable. Now I'll try it the other way. I'll go close right, far, far, close, stop plate. See what happens.
That was a 261, identical times. All three ways were the same time, but for me, it just felt very uncomfortable. It makes me push the first shot faster than I really am comfortable doing. Um, that's the only way you're going to get a really great run there is by pushing that first shot. That's where you make up the time and then having to slow down for those back two targets. Just not comfortable for me. So looking at the times, I would choose one of the other two ways to shoot the course of fire. That's roundabout from the Steel Challenge. Now it's your turn to get out to the range and do some shooting. If you're looking for a place to shoot, go to NSSF's website at wheretoshoot.org. And always remember, firearm safety depends on you.